Hi Aquarius, welcome to your Love Connection reading for the end of March. This is Miriam, this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome, returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So we're going to take a look at a love connection you have with someone, so you have to know each other, don't necessarily have to be together. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, male or female. Please only take what resonates, throw away the rest. Don't try to make it fit. If it's not your reading, it's not your reading, so please be aware of that. Energies can be switched, flip-flopped anytime during this reading. So let's see what we get here <clears throat> for a sign, element, or planet for you, Aquarius. If you don't resonate with what comes out here, totally fine. This is sort of like a little extra bonus for you, Aquarius. I do say at this time, I consider all my readings timeless. So links are below to your love and general playlist, along with the decks I'm using, social media links, how to reach out for personal reading. If you'd like to tip, donate, send a gift, all that info is below, along with the pinned top comment. If you're not comfortable using PayPal and you would like, to, would like to exchange energy or donate, the Super Chat is open only during the premiere. So if you're watching this during the premiere, the Super Chat option is open for energy exchanges and don donations if you choose to. And if you do, thank you. So let's see for Aquarius. <clears throat> At this, Okay, that one definitely wanted to jump. So let's see what we have for you, Aquarius. We have the sun energy. So this is Leo energy, but you don't necessarily have to be dealing with the Leo. But the sun in the zodiac de deck does represent uh, who you truly are, um, your identity, your originality, your uh, soul, your soul mission, your soul purpose in life. Um, it's who you truly are as a person. So we'll see how that plays into your reading, or you could be dealing with a Leo. But the sun in the tarot was a little different, does represent everything positive in life, everything. So it's the best card to get in the tarot. So it could mean that also. So we'll see. We'll see how that plays into your reading. So with this deck here, Aquarius, first thing I'll do is get an overall love energy, connection energy between you and your person, whoever you're thinking of at this time for this reading. So let's get an opening energy between Aquarius and their person at this time. All right, so we have Goddess of the Moon. And this just came out for, I just did uh, Capricorn, but it didn't come out in the same position. So this is needing to listen to your gut, your intuition, your higher knowing. It's about feelings, deep, deep feelings and emotions. Um, it's about cycles. And it can be about fear. It can be about uh, not seeing the path clearly, secrets coming to light. Or, you know, things being hidden. And seven, though, is a very divine, 52 seven, a very divinely guided uh, number, spiritual number. So we'll see how that plays into your reading. So now, um, Aquarius, I'm going to pull one for you, one for your person, how you're both feeling about each other and the connection, whoever you're thinking about for this at this time. I'm going to put you here, your person here, <clears throat> and see what's going on if any like i said anytime you feel like these energies need to be flipped switched reversed please feel free so aquarius how are you feeling about you and your person at this time okay i'm got it to these two all right oh you have envy 20 is two and that is about uh partnership and unity and stuff of that but so either you're envious of your person or you feel your person's envious of you or jealousy or something like that. Hmm. But your person's coming through here, very loving, angel of love, 49, which is 13, which is four, which is a very stable, uh, grounded number. Wow, I don't know why you would have envy here, but we're going to find out. So, I mean, maybe you're not together with this person and maybe this person is giving their love to somebody else and you're very envious of that. I don't know. We'll see where this is going to go. So let's see what's on the bottom. The world, 29, just 11, which is about being on the right path, going in the right direction. But then two, again, is about partnership and unity. But the world here can speak of travels. It can speak of journeys. It can speak of closing one cycle, starting a new cycle. Hmm. Let's see what's going on for you, Aquarius. What's going on? Why are you envious? Or that could be your person. Like I said, however it resonates for you. If you need to switch, please do that. So why aren't you envious? Let's clarify. Maybe you're wanting joy, happiness, 
the love your person, maybe the love that your person has given to somebody else you want, so you're very envious of maybe their person. And the goddess of the moon can be the secrets here of not revealing how you truly feel about somebody because maybe they are with somebody else. Because you see, this angel here has her back turned to you and you're looking over there like, you know, hey, <laughs> But not saying anything. But the world here, I mean, you could be like, you know, I this person is my world kind of energy. You see the measure of happiness with the sun. Wow. Okay, so let's clarify this. Let's clarify this energy for you, Aquarius. All right. I just got the message, envious of the love they give to somebody else. If that makes sense to anybody. Wow. Okay. We're going to clarify all this energy. I'm going to clarify. I want to say thank you to everybody who supported the channel. We just reached 10,000 subscribers. So in honor of that, I am having a deck giveaway along with a free 20-minute reading of your choice by me. If you'd like to enter that, check the description box in the top comment on how to enter. If you do, good luck. All right. So let's see what all this energy is about. And also, there are, if you go to the community section of my channel, there's a couple polls there I would like everybody to participate in. It will give me better clarity on what kind of readings you would like to see per month. All right. Okay. So this wanted to come out. The Empress. So male or female, Emperor, Empress here. All right. So let's get one more. Let's get one more. Wow. Okay. Ooh, the page of wands in reverse. So page of wands can be about good news coming in, a very fiery, passionate energy, or extending that energy out, but there's no extending of that energy out because I feel like I feel like this empress, you see this person as an emperor or an empress. But you can't extend out your energy to them because I feel like they may be giving it to somebody else or they may be in another relationship or connection or something. So although you would like to have them as your world, the emperor or empress gives birth to new things. Growth, abundance, I mean, it's, you know, king or queen of all the decks, growth, abundance, new things. There's no extending out of that energy because I feel like they're involved with somebody else. And you're very, like I said, very jealous of the love they give to somebody else. So you're either jealous. I don't feel like you're jealous of them. This also can be um, very immature energy. Communicating immaturely maybe to this person. Maybe you do know them. I don't know. But we do have the Ace of Swords here now under their energy. So let's see. Let's get one more <clears throat> for their energy for Aquarius, please. And the four of coins. So this is an energy of not giving, um, holding back. It could be they feel the connection with you, but maybe it's too intense for them. So they choose to give their attention elsewhere and they're holding back from you. Because the Ace of Swords can be also, this tells me this could be the truth of the matter. It's like divine energy with the sword energy. It's about the mind energy so but this is about a new beginning it's truth it's clarity epiphany um sort of victory so i feel like they've had an epiphany here but they're turning their back on you but they've had the epiphany here about how they feel about the connection but they're holding back their energy and they may be giving their energy to somebody else even though they seem the sort of truth it's like they're not giving in to the connection which is making you in a very jealous, envious energy, especially if they're seeing other people. And I feel like you could be envious and jealous of the people they're giving their attention to. All right, so let's see here, the high priestess. So again, intuition and goddess of the moon, it's like the same energy. All right, so what else? The three of wands, so yeah, you're waiting. It's like you're trying to follow your gut and your intuition. And also, this is a very secretive energy with the high priestess. Does it say much? Does it reveal much? But it's very intuitive, higher knowing. 
So you're waiting. You're waiting on this person. You're waiting for this person, waiting for that shit to come in. But yet you're not really saying much to them or revealing how you truly feel or maybe you had in the past. Um, but there, some sort of communication has stopped between the two of you. So, But you're still waiting for them. It says, darkness into darkness, the key to all mystery on the card. So let's see what else here for Aquarius. Judgment. So making a final judgment call, reviewing how you feel, uh, the connection. Uh, could be about forgiveness or resurrection. This usually brings the soulmates back together. I feel like you could be waiting for them to make this judgment call to see what truth and clarity, what kind of connection this is. That, you know, I feel like you do know they, that they have feelings for you, but they're not giving into that, especially with the four of coins. So I feel like you stop communicating, even though you do want this with them, especially with the high priestess and the page of wands in reverse and the three of wands is no communicating, but there's waiting on a judgment call here. It's right in the middle between the two of you. So let's see what else comes out under their energy for Aquarius spirit, please. Thank you so much. For Aquarius in their person at this time. What other energy for Aquarius in their person? The star. So it's about healing. They know it's a very divinely guided connection here. It's about healing. Faith, hope, optimism. But and that's your energy. Aquarius. So they know, but they're holding back. <clears throat> what else? For Aquarius in their person, please. The Seven of Cups. So this can be about other options, confusion, decisions. So again, they may be, oh, it's the Eight of Cups. I'm sorry. It's the Eight of Cups. So yeah, I feel like they kind of turn their back on this and they're not admitting how they truly feel. I didn't get any, that there's anybody else, but they could be, I mean, in order for you to be envious, I mean, they, they could be seeing other people. Um, or you're just envious that, you know, you know, or if you've seen them in relationships in the past, you know how much love they give to somebody and you're envious that they're not giving that love to you, that they could give it to somebody else in the future. So, I mean, maybe they're healing from something with the star energy. The sun can be about healing too. But walking away from something here with the eight of cups. So I feel like they kind of turn their back on this especially with the four of coins, but they, they have truth of clarity on this, but they're turning their back on it. They know it's divinely guided. They, they have you right in their energy here with the uh, Aquarius, the star. So let's see what the advice is here, Aquarius, for this connection. Wow. Okay. <laughs> what is the advice here? This connection, please, spirit. Thank you so much. The Knight of Swords. So somebody needs to rush in here with truth and clarity. Somebody needs, and it's on your side, so maybe you just need to rush in with to them with truth, clarity, and tell them how you feel. The Moon. So the Moon coming up twice here about nothing's being said, nothing's being revealed. Secrets. So now we have the Nine of Swords. So stress, fear, worry, anxiety on this whole situation. Seven of Swords energy. So this is about getting out of something, sneaking out of something. It's like you, the moon can also be about intuition and, you know, deep feelings, emotions. So there definitely are deep feelings and emotions here. Stressed and nervous that so you may totally lose this person, perhaps. That they may just, Seven of Swords, sneak away. Seven of Swords, Eight of Cups, like sneak away, get out, walk away. And you may never see them again. The moon energy. It's like you can't see things clearly. So the advice is here, if you don't want to lose them, even though you're stressed about this, you may have to rush into them with the sword of clarity, but be careful of your energy that you don't uh, come in with a reckless energy and kind of ruin it. So watch your thoughts, your actions. But there is an energy here of needing to rush, but it's rushing away. This energy is rushing away from all this other energy. So I still, still do feel 
and maybe you or your person here, I don't know, but the energy is somebody may just have to rush into the other and uh, speak their mind. King of Cups, yeah, and reveal what they truly feel. Love, emotions, um, and feelings here. Expressing how much love they have. King or Queen here, doesn't matter. What else here for Aquarius? Wow. Okay. <laughs> Page of Coins, so extending a solid offer, a stable offer, very, very sincere. Even, you know, the page is like young energy, so even though expressing, you know, I really like you, whatever here, let's, Page of Coins, very slow energy, let's take it slow, let's, you know, see where it goes. And then we do have the sun as the outcome here, which is total joy, happiness, healing, enlightenment, happy home and family, victory, everything positive with the sun. So this is the possible outcome rush in the stable offer of let's build let's take it slow i do have feelings will lead to total fulfillment here with the sun twice wow so let's see what's on the bottom here so we do have the tower so this can just be a big epiphany aha moment um a breakup a, sh a shake up or something like that so somebody's having a tower moment here yeah, that this is my Ace of Cups. My Ace of Cups. Wow, my cards are flying everywhere. So, these are big cards. So, somebody's having a, an a, uh, epiphany, an aha moment that this is my Ace of Cups person. I want this brand new beginning of love with this person. I don't want to lose them. Divinely guided, brand new beginning of love. M love emotions overflowing here. Queen of Swords, so again, this is like divine energy to me. Truth, clarity, cutting away things not serving, standing up, not backing down. Truthful, honest communication about this, and that's your energy, Aquarius. That I want soulmate union with you, with your person. You want soulmate union. There's been too much energy, of um, no movement in retreating between the two of you. Now there needs to be healing, balance, patience between the two of you. This temperance angel brings the soulmates back together. Very strong bond here. Having courage, strength, um, bravery to do what's necessary. Willpower to hold back when needed. Taming the beast. To the Ten of Cups. Total happiness, joy, fulfillment. Happy home and family in every single way. Again, with the chariot moving this forward. Somebody needs to move this forward. With the wheel, the chariot in the wheel. Divinely guided chariot and wheel divine timing fate destiny things going in a better direction if somebody gets in their chariot and drives us forward again working on it with the eight of coins very slow baby steps for the future so wow so let's see what we have for the signs between leo we got leo there we have sagittarius we have cancer let's see we have Leo again, we have Sagittarius, we have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, we have Aries or Scorpio there, uh, we have the Empress here, which is Libra, Taurus, Leo, Leo, Sag, uh, Aries, uh, Aquarius, that's your energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Leo again, I mean, we basically have all the signs here, Cancer, Pisces, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Scorpio, uh, Pisces. So we have all the signs here. So basically, so let's get some extra messages for you, Aquarius, with this. I think you're going to have to drive this chariot forward if you want this to happen, Aquarius. <clears throat> I don't think, I'm sorry, <laughs> I don't think they're going to do it, so... All right, you need to drive this chariot forward in love for this love victory. Let's get some extra messages for you, Aquarius, with this deck. So I do ask Aquarius, especially if you're new, you like my style and how I read, please do like, share, subscribe, and comment. I love to read the comments. Hit the bell, you won't miss out. You get about four or five readings a month. Right now I'm doing two love, two general, a bonus, but I may be switching it to a love, a general, a singles, love and a no contact what's going on with them and a bonus so don't miss out on that and if you do thank you so let's get some extra messages here for you aquarius for this connection make a wish and that's the star energy wishes and dreams coming true 
this is a magical moment. Make a wish and enjoy its manifestation. So yeah, I think you've been wishing for this with this person. But you may need you may need to be the one to manifest this forward because I don't think they will. All right, so time to move on. It's time to let go of the old and worn out so that the new can come in. So they may be in that energy. Again, I feel like a, a time to move on. I just feel like they're kind of turning their back on the connection for some reason. I don't know why, what their situation is, but um, I don't know. They feel like they just can't acknowledge this connection, this love right now. All right. Self-employment. You're a born entrepreneur and your business is surrounded by magical opportunities. So that may be, maybe some of you are self-employed or are thinking of that. And let's see. What did I tell you? Soulmate relationship, new romance with a spiritual basis is here for you now. So yeah, I do feel that this is a soulmate bond and they're feeling that strongly and I think it's scaring them and I don't think they're going to move this forward. You may be the one to have to do that, Aquarius. Okay, Aquarius, best of luck to you and I'm sending you many light, love and blessings and as I always say with my channel is to always, always shine your light.